This channel do not condone piracy of any kind. Asking for, providing or discussing illegal download links is not allowed. <laughs> Hello Game Daddies, Game Daddy here. For today's episode I'm going to teach you how to play Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles using your gamepad and Dolphin's new controller overhaul. But before we start if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be updated with the latest news, tutorials, and anything about Android emulation, let's go. I already made a tutorial on how to play Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles using your gamepad controllers, but since Dolphin made a controller overhaul, users are now unfamiliar with Dolphin's new key mapping interface. The controller overhaul update also introduced bugs that makes your controller unable to work properly, but worry no more cause it's all fixed now, that's why I decided to make an updated video on how to configure your gamepads for Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles. First, grab the latest development version of Dolphin Android, just go to Dolphin's official website, dolphin-emu.org. Once you're inside the Dolphin website, tap the hamburger icon located at the upper right most of your screen then tap download. After that scroll down and look for the development versions and you will see a list, usually the latest version is on the top of the list so choose the one on the top and tap the Android button to download. After installing the latest development version of Dolphin Android, tap the cog icon and tap Wii input, tap again the cog icon beside the Wii Remote 1. Before we configure our controller practice clearing the settings of the controller first to avoid problems. After that look for your gamepad under the device section. Once your gamepad is set in the device section, go to Wii Remote section and tap buttons. Set the keys for these buttons. After that, still in Wii Remote section, let's move on to motion simulation. Use your left analog stick in mapping the point motion simulation. Since shake motion simulation is required in this game, let's set X button for shake. After that let's go to extension section, and set extension to nunchuck. After that tap the cog icon beside the nunchuck. Set your desired button for button C. In my case I set my Y button for nunchuck's button C. Let's try if it works.
Stand for. I have no idea, but we should find Sherry first. You're right. I'm pretty sure she's still around here somewhere. Let's go then. Inspire me to make more videos like this by subscribing to the channel.